Greetings and salutations. I am Virtual Coach and I help people get results and enjoy their lives. Being resilient means being able to recover quickly from a difficult situation to move forward towards a better future. It is an important attribute to cultivate, especially during these times. The good news is that resilience is not a genetic trait. Perhaps there are people with natural tendency to be more resilient than others, but really it is more about choice and it is something you can practice to help you deal with difficult situations. In this video, I'm going to share with you four tips on how to cultivate a resilient mindset. Tip number one, reframe failures as opportunities. For example, let's say you're in a job interview process and they decide to hire someone else. A non-resilient person would say, I did not get the job, I'm a failure. A resilient person would say, I did not get the job, maybe it wasn't the right place for my talents. Let's see what other opportunities are out there. Resilient people recognize the futility, consciously or unconsciously, of worrying about something that cannot be changed. They look for what they can learn about what happened. For example, did it happen because of something I did? If so, what can I do differently next time? Tip number two, develop a powerful social network. It is of utmost importance to have people around you you can trust. Having a network of people who support you is a positive factor during times of crisis. Perhaps talking about a situation with a friend or loved one will not make your problems go away, but it will allow you to share your emotions, receive support, positive feedback, and find solutions to your problems. There is no reason for the weight of the world to rest solely on your shoulders. Tip number three, don't be the victim. Eliminate sayings such as, bad things always happen to me. Being human implies that positive things and negative things will happen in your life. If you experience multiple setbacks within what you consider to be your sphere of control, the resilient option is to analyze your own actions and behaviors. Maybe there's something you're doing that makes it easier for these things to happen. There are also overwhelming moments that are out of your sphere of control. For example, experiences such as the loss of a loved one are extremely difficult to overcome. And those of us left behind often suffer with feelings of impotence and guilt. I have experienced these myself. I have also learned that despite how impossible it may seem, you can find moments of true joy again, but only if you give yourself permission. It is pointless to blame or torture yourself with regrets about what you could have done or said differently. Tip number four, take care of yourself. When you're feeling stressed, it's common to put your needs aside, lose your appetite, ignore exercise, get poor sleep. These are all common reactions in a crisis. A better tactic if you want to be resilient is to focus on your well-being. Eat well, take care of your physical condition, get enough sleep, and make time for activities that are interesting and fun for you. By taking care of your own needs, you strengthen yourself and generate more resilience to face the challenges of life. As I mentioned before, anyone can learn to be resilient, but it takes practice and persistence. Focusing on these tips may help, but don't forget to build on your own strengths as well. As always, I wish you a pure life and success. Thank you for watching this video.